Hi family, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about my staple hair products. I have them here with me. And um, to make it a bit more organized, I'll talk about the shampoos, the conditioners, the styling products, and then the um, treatments I apply to my hair. I do share with you the products I use in my videos, but some people still ask what products I use, so I figured I could put that in a video so that I'll make reference to it anytime I have to. So to start with the shampoos, I have here with me my um, Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. If you've been with me for some time now, then you know I've been using this shampoo a lot. And I do use this shampoo as a clarifying shampoo. I did a bit of research on this and I found that this is supposed to be pH balanced. I don't see it anywhere on the bottle. But I saw that in the description um, of this product on Amazon and also on another website. It says on a bottle that this does not contain lauryl sulfate and um, the cleansing surfactant in here is um, sodium C12 to 14 olefin sulfonate, which is an anionic surfactant. This is supposed to be a strong surfactant, but it's not as strong as um, sulfates. Looking at the ingredient list, most of what I see here is all natural. I'll insert an image of the um, ingredient list on the screen. You can pause the video and look at it. I use this shampoo as my clarifying shampoo, especially after taking down um, my protective styles. And um, when I style my hair with lots of maybe oil or butter or anything that is heavy on my hair, I clarify my hair with this before I go in with a moisturizing shampoo. I also like the tingling sensation I get from this. It suits my scalp anytime I use it. I don't use this so frequently, but also also, I don't use it on any particular schedule so as and when I feel like my hair needs to be clarified I use it. The next shampoo I used, I know this is not a shampoo <laughs> but I make a shampoo out of this. This is the um, African black soap. So I make a shampoo out of this. You can see this <laughs> This has been used. I, I don't have a video on this because I don't have um, the pH test strips to actually test and be sure that my shampoo is pH balanced to share with you. This island has a pH of about 9 which is alkaline and so I use apple cider vinegar to balance the pH. I did use someone else's video to make my African black soap shampoo even though I don't um, add everything from the video but then I'll link the video um, in the description so that if you are interested you can check it out and make your own African black soap shampoo. My next shampoo here is the TGIN moisture rich sulfate free shampoo. So this um, shampoo is a moisturizing shampoo and this shampoo has been a staple product. I do try other shampoos but I have this in my stash all the time. And this is one of the shampoos I use every wash day because it's moisturizing, it doesn't strip the hair. And so when I'm done clarifying my hair, I follow up with this um, TGIN uh, moisturizing shampoo. When I use a lot of shea butter or oil on my hair and I use just this to cleanse my hair, it doesn't really cleanse the hair properly unless I use a lot more shampoo than I usually would. And so I um, tend to clarify my hair first if I use a lot of um, shea butter and oil before I go in with the moisturizing shampoo. But on days when I haven't used uh, much of shea butter on my hair and I probably use just um, leave-in conditioner, when it's time to shampoo and I use this, I don't need so much to cleanse my hair properly. So for the conditioners, I use the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner and this conditioner has a lot of slip, it's why I like it and it doesn't have any silicones in here. But it does have protein way down um, in the ingredient list. I like this for its slip, like it gives me a lot of slip and helps with um, detangling. And just like its um, shampoo, all the ingredients or not all, I don't know, most of the ingredients here are natural. I don't just use it for detangling, I sometimes also use it after shampooing. The next conditioner here is the TGIN Triple Moisture Replenishing Conditioner. Yeah. So this is um, a conditioner I mostly use after shampooing. It also has slip, but I feel like I have to use um, a lot more of this to be able to get the um, slip that I need to work through my hair. So just like its shampoo, this conditioner has been a staple product for over a year now. 
the first one here is the Cantu, um, Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. I really enjoy using this product, but it has um, proteins in here. And so I, I, I used to use it more frequently, but now I've reduced the frequency of its use so that I don't get myself protein overload. I like this product a lot. It's one of the products I use after um, rinsing out my regular conditioner. The next one here is the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Living Conditioner. I got this as a free gift on Black Friday when I made purchase on their site and pretty big <laughs> but it's all out now like this is all i have left but i like this con uh, living conditioner it has sleep and it's moisturizing and all of that so i'll be repurchasing i think i'll go with a smaller bottle i don't know <laughs> I'll go with a smaller bottle in case I change my mind, but I do like this product. The next product I have here is the TGIN Honey Quick Hydrating Mousse. I don't know so much about mousse, but this is the only mousse I've ever tried. But I feel like, well, it does the work for me. <laughs> and I like it. So I've, I've been using it for some time now. This is all I have left. I'm not the only one who used it. I'm not sure whether I'm ready to try another mousse pretty soon but i'm okay with this and so when i run out i'll repurchase this particular one another product i do use is my homemade whipped shea butter i shared a video of this on my channel and so i'll put a link um, in the description and also in the cards above i mostly use this for my mini twist it helps with lubrication and also the flaxseed gel in there helps um, to keep my hair moisturized it makes more badges so i usually don't have access to store in the fridge Have here my oil blend also if you've watched my video on um, my scalp care already then you know about this oil blend so this oil blend i especially use on my scalp when it comes to hair treatments um, starting with protein treatment i have tried just one protein treatment before that is the green beauty's real protein treatment i've run out and i don't have an empty bottle here but i will insert an image on the screen that is the um protein treatment I do use. I like it because it makes my hair strong but also not hard and with that protein treatment I realized that what my hair really needed was a protein moisture balance. Yeah, I didn't need so many products to keep my hair moisturized. All I needed was that protein moisture balance and I got the protein from that protein treatment and so it helped me with moisture retention. And that product is a staple for me. And the last thing to talk about under treatments is my Ayurvedic hair care regimen. I do use Amla, Brahmi, Hibiscus. I have a video on my Ayurvedic hair care regimen and so I'll link it up in the um, card above and also in the description for your convenience. I wouldn't say these are the only products I've ever used. I've tried a couple of products I didn't really like and so I didn't repurchase. Some of them I even had to discard. And I'm not saying these are the only products I'll be using for the rest of my life. But if anything changes, I'll update you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video.